make sure you engage your heart and deeply love our Lord, thank our Lord, ask preparation and mercy of our Lord uh, as we walk along his way. Good morning, Jerusalem. This is Herod's Gate. We're going in to start the Via Della Rosa this morning. We start early to avoid the crowds and to be on time for Mass at Calvary at 6.30. If I were to describe that to you, I would say all the way down where that red car is, probably the northern tip of it, uh, way beyond where her sister was. In this final surrender, and contemplate with reverence each place along the way, as he is broken and given for us. Let's take a moment of silence in our hearts to meditate upon this mystery and speak to Jesus. sepulcher and there it is the front door into the church of the holy sepulcher where jesus was crucified died buried and rose again Because of this, God greatly exalted him, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the words of the Lord. Good morning with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone much to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the servant in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so everyone who believes in him may have eternal life.
a great morning at the Holy Sepulchre, we headed back to the Notre Dame Hotel for a great breakfast, very filling, and a hour or so to rest up before we head out again. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Revelation chapter 12 speaks of the Queen of Heaven, Mary, who is clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars around her head. Some of my favorite artwork of Mary is in the Church of the Visitation, especially on the upper level where we see even many images of the theology regarding Mary. And this is of her, the mother who prays for the church. Pray for us, Mary. And he's doing it so that those who take the time to meditate and understand the whole Bible will understand very clearly who and what Mary is. So Luke is a very, the, the visitation is a very nice story on the surface. You just read the story and it's a delightful story of a young woman who gets pregnant, comes to greet her, her relative and they share the joy of both being pregnant. Both miraculous babies, by the way. You know, Elizabeth is, is old, too old to have a baby. And Mary has a virgin birth, so two miraculous births and they're sharing. So the story's very nice on just the human level. And, but if you dig deep into that thing, Luke is telling you who and what Mary is. She is the Ark of the New Covenant. In the Old Testament, the ark was a box. I'm going to get to that in a minute. So when, when somebody who knows the Old Testament reads the visitation, they should say, aha, that's 2 Samuel chapter 6. But even before that, when the angel said to Mary, she said, how will this be since I don't know a man? And the, and the angel said, the Holy One of God will overshadow you, and that which is in you will be the Holy One of God. The Holy Spirit. So when you hear that, how many of you think automatically, aha, that's Exodus chapter 40? See, I can't wait until the day every Catholic raises their hands and they know these things because we're learning the Bible better and better in the last couple of decades and it's getting better all the time. But I say that because in, he, in uh, Exodus chapter 40, Moses built the Ark of the Covenant. It was a gold box about four feet long, two and a half feet by two and a half feet, made of pure gold within and without, which represents the purity of the Immaculate Conception. And inside that Ark of the Covenant, he put the stones with the law inscribed in, the law inscribed in stone. In other words, the Word of God inscribed in stone was put inside that box. And some of the manna from the wilderness. And also the third thing was a stick that had proved the priesthood of Aaron. Those three things were in the box. The cover was put down. Moses put it inside the tabernacle out in the wilderness of Sinai. And he stepped back and the glory cloud of God, the Shekinah glory, the Holy One of God overshadowed the ark. It's the only two times that word is used in Exodus 40 of the, of the Holy, of the cloud overshadowing the ark. And it's used of Mary that she's going to get, become pregnant by the Holy One of God overshadowing her. So right there alone you see that she's the ark of the new covenant. So what's in her womb? Well, the box of the, in the old covenant was had the word of God inscribed in stone. What's in Mary's womb? Not the word of God inscribed in stone, but the word of God inscribed in flesh. And in the box was a urn full of manna from the wilderness that if you ate of it, you would still die. In Mary's womb is the bread which came down from heaven that if you eat of it, you will never die. In the box was a stick that proved the priesthood of Aaron, but in Mary's womb is the priest. These three things are there, and it's a, it's a way of us knowing that Mary is the Ark of the New Covenant. 
The Ark of the Old Covenant was lost in 586 BC and it was never found again. And it won't be found because there's a replacement now. That was the Ark of the Old Covenant. They'll never find that Ark because there's a new Ark of the Covenant now and that's Mary. She's the Ark of the New Covenant. They'll never find it. They'll never build a third temple either because a third temple's already been built. And that's the church. We're his body. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, the church. So. Next, we drove through a little cloudburst of rain to get to the Dung Gate, which leads us straight into the Western Wall. And here's the gate that we went through. And here's a, a high view, a kind of an aerial view of the Western Wall where we approached with their Jewish flags flying. And um, it's always a sight for the eyes, all of the people that you see there. Many people forget that Jesus was a Jew and would have done all the Jewish customs and uh, dressed like a Jew and prayed like a Jew at the Western Wall. He said, this is my father's house. And here we see pictures of the men praying and reading the Torah scrolls. And then our guys... Well, here's our guys all coming up to the wall. And we're going to all go up to the wall and pray. You can see the prayers that have been placed here by others. Uh, here, prayers everywhere. segregated at the Western Wall and here's a couple of pictures of the ladies in our group on the women's side. This is only a portion of the Western Wall, the retaining wall. You can see how high it is, but another half of it is down below and it goes for a long way past that tunnel there where it continues to go. Um, this was part of the retaining wall, the platform, and then the temple was built up on top of there. some of these bagels with Zata to eat along the way as we drove back through Jerusalem to the Notre Dame Hotel. And when we arrived back here at the hotel, everybody had lunch and a totally free afternoon since we've gotten so much done. But then after that, at 5.30, we had the Shroud exhibit, which is in the Notre Dame Hotel. And it's a marvelous exhibit of the Holy Shroud of Turin. And our friend Johanna does a great job of presenting this display. We see Jesus in a bronze as he was inside the tomb and they also have a 3D hologram and it almost feels like Jesus is standing there in front of you. And then uh, Johanna sings for everybody at the end too and here they have things like crown of thorns and the nails and the uh, all the implements of, of torture of Jesus and a bronze of what his face would have looked like while he was laying in the tomb. After that we had dinner and everybody ate at the Notre Dame Center and had the evening free as well, getting ready for a big day tomorrow, going to the uh, Jordan River and the Dead Sea and many other places.